1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, Disney will soon be getting in the holiday spirit, and they've just announced some delicious treats coming to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year. Yes, we're going to talk about the Very Merry Christmas Party and the gingerbread houses. And there's a new one this year, so we'll talk about that as well. And if we have time, we'll get into Disneyland but Christmas, but I don't think we will, and I don't want to do it injustice. So the full Disneyland Christmas foodie list will be in our blog post at 1923mainstreet.com. Check it out. We have our top picks there as well, as we're going to go through right now for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. And I want to start off by saying this trend of... Great new food options is continuing. We already did Jollywood Nights. It looks good. It's not all just sweets and treats anymore. They actually have some real food so you can eat there with some holiday festive food. Yes, and sorry to all my peppermint lovers, but none of those recommendations will be coming through from me. So be sure to check out the show notes if you're looking for peppermint flavors. Don't worry. I love holiday peppermint flavors. So no. you can count on me for those. Again, no, we're going to... Talk about what's new and then highlight our top picks along the way. We're going in alphabetical order. Magic Kingdom, Very Merry Christmas Party, kicking it off with anti-gravities. Yes, this is a classic staple. They've got to have something going on. Available both at the party and during regular park hours. New this year, they have the Reindeer Chow Sunday, which is chocolate soft serve, pretzels, cereal, M&Ms, and some hot fudge. (laughs) That is too much. It's anti-gravities. What did you expect? A normal portion (laughs) size? And that one's also available all the time, right? So yeah, that's... not just at the party. Yeah, so maybe don't eat that one at the party if you're hoping to ride some rides later on. And more my steam there is the lump of coal in your stocking, as they're calling it. I don't know. This Ooh, is I'd a, also try that. Yeah, this is a cookies and cream milkshake. I thought you'd like that one. With I whipped d- cream on top, cookies and cream crumbles, and chocolate a chocolate donut hole. I can just hole. never eat this by myself. Is a chocolate donut hole a Timbit or yeah. what do they call them at? Munchkin. Munchkin at Dunkin'. It's a Munchkin. Yeah. This is new and it's a party only. So is that one of your picks? Yeah, we'll split it because I cannot consume that entire thing. And nearby at Casey's Corner... Oh, you're going to love this one. <laughs> oh it's God. a candy cane tart. I was tart. like, oh, excuse me. Here we me. go. Here we go. So chocolate tart filled with peppermint ganache and topped with festive meringue. Probably sounds good. Party only. And it's new. Also new this year, a different party only. This is more of a dinner option at Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. The holiday pot roast melt, which is slow cooked beef on thick toast with cheddar and provolone cheese and beef gravy. Yeah, that's one of my top picks as well. Looks so good. Updated grilled cheese look. I absolutely want to try this. And if you don't like beef, you can always get the holiday turkey burger. It is a turkey burger and it looks like it's sort of a fried turkey burger topped with stuffing, provolone cheese, cranberry chutney on a brioche bun. Brioche bun. I think we'll probably try one of those in the family. And then rounding out what's new at Cosmic Rays. Yes, there is the Christmas cookie cake, which is Christmas cookie cake roll with buttercream and just some holiday sprinkles. Not too involved, but definitely a nice classic Christmas dish. And then at the Cool Ship, there is a magic holiday tree. This doesn't appeal to me, but it is new. So if you like coconut pecans and M&Ms on a graham cracker crust... Head over there. Party only. It's called the Magic Holiday Tree. Yes. Ah, Friar's Nook. They've got some delicious stuff going on. In another episode of you copying my picks, we have the Holiday Ham Fried Pie, which is a flaky pastry filled with baked ham, candied sweet potatoes, and spiced pecans served with pineapple glaze. And this is a party only. Yeah. I, I want to try this and that beef dip, or not or not beef dip, the pot roast on we'll split, bread. We'll split. Yeah, we can split them each. And also there, Italian beef tots. So these are tots covered in slow-cooked beef, cheese curds, zesty giardinera, and pot roast gravy. This also sounds good, you know, but I can only eat so much. It also is new. 
Oh, and here you go. Why don't you give us the next one? Because it's your favorite flavor and it's new. Yes, the Peppermint Snowman, which is a chocolate brownie topped with cookies and cream peppermint mousse, was so good until they had to add the peppermint. What about the why, next one? Also new. There? If you don't want that, what about the winter milkshake? Oh, you'll love this one. Creamy coconut milkshake topped with whipped cream, toasted coconut, cinnamon, and crisp pearls. This is non-alcoholic. You know, and if they were making this alcoholic, if you put rum in there, but I don't think there are any of these at Magic Kingdom with alcohol still this year. I don't even know why it says non-alcoholic. Probably because it sounds like it's it's like a it's almost like a festive pina colada. Oh. Okay, now you're going to want to make me try it. And this now one, way over at the other end of the park at Golden Oak Outpost. Yes, this one actually is my pick. The gingerbread cake layered with cream cheese frosting, dulce de leche ganache, topped with a gingerbread man chocolate piece. And this is a very Merry Christmas party exclusive. Yeah, and also there, we went there at the Halloween party. They had some good stuff, so we like it. It's over next to Splash Mountain slash Tiana's Bayou. Oh, they way had at the, end of the, park. the most delicious fries. Yeah, they Halloween. have an orange gingerbread shake. So this actually sounds interesting. It's orange cream slushy with gingerbread cookie crumbles and whipped cream and gingerbread spice. Non-alcoholic, as they say, but I think everything in the park is. Main Street Bakery has one new item. I like the name, Letter to Santa. This is a flourless chocolate cake, hot cocoa mousse, and marshmallows topped with chocolate pieces. Yeah, party only on that one. Picos yeah. Bills, down back over by Golden Oak Outpost. Has a couple of new items. One is the chocolate eggnog reindeer. This is a chocolate tart chopped with eggnog mousse and chocolate antlers. Party only. And also there. There is an orange cranberry pineapple punch with a hint of smoke from the fireplace. And this is non alcohol. Yeah, I marked this as a pick to try because, I, you know, I love, first of all, I love smoking anything in the backyard. And I do do smoked cocktails at home. So I'm intrigued that they're having a smoked non-alcoholic punch. I don't know if it's liquid smoke in there, how they're going to do it. I wouldn't mind just trying it to see. Nothing new at Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, but there are some things you can try. Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. Both of these are a pick for me with the Holiday Waffle Sunday being a house-made red velvet waffle topped with M&M's peppermint ice cream that I will graciously give uh -huh, away peppermint. and hot fudge. <laughs> It's going to be all mushed, mushed in there. It's a no, waffle. No, it's not. I saw the ice cream on top. All Slide. Right. Go away. I thought you'd go more for the milk and cookies for Santa, also at Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I'll also be also trying new, this. Also party only. This is a brown sugar cookie cake with chocolate chip cookie dough mousse, milk mousse, and chocolate chip cookies. I'll also get this one. Over at Storybook Treats, they have the Sugar Plum Sundae, a sugar plum soft this also serve. also looks delicious. Yeah, a top of sugar cookie crumbs and topped with whipped cream, crisp pearls, and cotton candy. Yeah. That's a kid pleaser right there. It looks there. like I'll be eating more ice cream than someone who just got their tonsils out, but it's okay, everyone. If you're over in Adventureland at Sunshine Tree Terrace, they have two new items as well. Yes, yeah, so they have the Santa's Belt Buckle. I love that name. Yeah, this one, I'm surprised this isn't a pick for you with the pistachio mousse with a dark chocolate truffle center and a chocolate buckle. They also have a cranberry citrus float with orange vanilla soft serve twist with Sprite water and spiced cranberry and fruity boba pearls. And nearby Cinderella Castle, there's an outdoor vending cart area out in front of the castle, sort of off to the side. And they have a new hot cocoa churro there. Is yes. this a pick of yours? It was so close, but they had to go and throw that peppermint on there. This is a churro rolled in hot cocoa powder topped with marshmallows and peppermint candy pieces. Yeah, and you can try this one anytime. Yay, it's everyone. not just at the party. So there is all the new food coming to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party once again, as it was the theme with Jollywood Nights and even the Halloween party. They've really upped their game with food. There are some... Items where you can go and sort of have a dinner savory item and then have sweets. So it used to sort of be all sweets and they've changed that now. Now yes. let's talk about, for us, another huge part of Christmas at Walt Disney World. Yes. We will be there in just over a month for yeah. Christmas. Now, despite their delayed setup, they are coming out strong with their gingerbread selections the, this year. At they, the deluxe hotels, yes. specifically. And we'll go through which ones and where. Mm -hmm. Let's start with our favorite. Okay. These will be available from November 8th all the way through January 1st of next year. And this is back for its 24th year. We're talking about the Grand Floridian Resort's full-size gingerbread house. 
Yes. And they have a great menu from which to choose. Yes, a lot of these are very good pro tip. Order from the concierge service if you're staying there so you don't have to wait in those lines, which get nearly as long as some rides. Yeah, and if you can't order, if you're not staying concierge service, because obviously not everybody is, get there early and or pretty late, just before it closes. Yeah, that's another good yeah, tip. Yeah, we notice the lines, you know, I know it may be hard to time if you're just visiting. Otherwise... It's going to be a Disney experience for you waiting in line. Yes. But hey, here's what you can get. Yes, they've got a freshly baked gingerbread Mickey's, shingles, stolen bread, brownies, Christmas tree, and ginger snap cookies, all with their iconic gingerbread. Most of these are pretty good. We've sampled quite a few. They also have house-made gingerbread ornaments and gingerbread houses, as well as some assorted cookie bags, marshmallow pops, and chocolate pecan fudge. Yeah, and they have the combo box back, so if you're not sure what to get, or if you want to get a gift for someone, the Grand Floridian combo box is pretty good. It features cookies and cream, Christmas tree, and, and a couple of things exclusive to the box, but it's sort of like a good selection of items from there. And they do have plant-based, no sugar, and gluten-free options as well. Yeah, I feel Now, like... what were you going to say? I was just going to say, I feel like we tried the Stalin bread last year, and it was really good. There is a brand new display this year. Yes, at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. This year, they are made from the actual blueprints of the lighthouse located just outside the resort along Crescent Lake. Yeah, so it's going to be a huge gingerbread lighthouse like you see on the dock there when you get on the Friendships. Yes, and the treats sold at this holiday pop-up shop will include new lighthouse fudge. <laughs> I thought you would. I'm, I don't know if we're going to get so there. I'm so intrigued but, by this. Yeah, you and, might have to make a little... When we're at Epcot, the little hop over there if you no. want to try that fun. Well, Beach Club Resort's got some good offerings too. Yeah, next door at the Beach Club. Yes. Well, they're back. 22nd year, so not, you know, it was right behind the Grand Floridian. Yes, their gingerbread offering is inspired by DuckTales and some horse themes after Donald Duck and his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, it's a carousel. So this year the horses are uh, Donald Duck and and family themed and the carousel does actually move so it's sort of neat yeah and there's 22 hidden mickeys along yeah, here if you so like hidden mickeys there are 22 of them in this display so look hard give them a search the gingerbread menu over here also has some signature stalin bread as well as lighthouse fudge so maybe we'll get some over here a mickey snowman pop a rice crispy treat peppermint bark gingerbread shingle hot cocoa flight and just some hot chocolate and then just across Crescent Lake over at Disney's Boardwalk Inn, there's now these do not all run <gasps> at the same time. So just pay attention Ooh. to that. We the all the dates are in this blog post at 1923mainstreet.com. The Boardwalk Inn display is from November 17th until December 27th. Oh, but they've got some options. And it's a mini version of the Boardwalk itself. Not the whole thing, but a, a bunch of the stores that are on the Boardwalk. What's on their menu? Oh, yeah, they've got some Mickey and Minnie sugar cookies, Mickey caramel corn cookie, a Christmas tree pop, peppermint bark, gingerbread shingles, as well as some gluten, wheat-friendly, and plant-based gingerbread shingles. What so that's were you good. ooing and eyeing about? Mickey caramel corn cookie. Yes, please. So I guess we're going to have to wander this area. We're going to have to work it into our... Yeah, we've got quite trip. a long day planned from Epcot yeah. all the way over to Jollywood Nights, but I think we can fit everything in. And then Animal Kingdom Lodge, they have another great display there. Theirs runs from November 22nd right until uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st. And their tradition continues with life-size baby gingerbread giraffe and a baby zebra. Very cute. This giraffe stands almost seven feet tall. So rather impressive Disney. And you can buy some treats, including a ginger aff cookie, a hot cocoa flight, and beer, wine, and cocktails. Yeah, this is interesting because a few of these mention beer, wine, and cocktails. The Grand Floridians didn't, but remember last well, year... Well, the Grand Floridians. Well, last year they had that separate little champagne stand. Yeah. So I'm curious to see this year if they're going to work the cocktails into this area. They've redone the lobby. Did they consider this or is it just going to be a standalone cart? I think they only had wine and champagne. I'm not sure they had cocktails, but we'll see. Well, now when they say hot cocoa flight, is that including alcoholic? No, a hot cocoa flight would be, I guess, three different kinds of cocoa. Maybe mm. there's a peppermint cocoa oh, for, you, for you, a regular chocolate and a mocha or something. We'll see. All right. Over at the Contemporary Resort, it's sort of medium run. Seven, or Sorry, 12th year. 
This one is located on the fourth floor, which is the same floor where all the stores are and all that, and, and all that sort of yeah. stuff. It's got a rather long run from November 10th all the way to January 6th. Yeah, see, this one's long. It's strange how they worked all this out. Yes, and this year's version is a Mary Blair inspired with the 100th Celebration Castle theme, which stands over 17 feet tall. Yeah, this so, will be interesting. It was not that tall last year, so we'll see what it's like this year. Upping their game. And if you'd like to search for hidden Mickeys, then you got to check the 12 hidden five-legged goats. Oh, keeping with the five-legged goat in the mural in the lobby, there are 12 hidden five-legged, yes, five-legged goats here. Yes, for such a claimingly contemporary resort, they love their goats. And they have a lot of stuff here. They have a gingerbread castle brick, paint your own cookies. <gasps> That's cool. Hot, Hot chocolate, chocolate caramel, caramel fudge. fudge. Oh my goodness. A chocolate peppermint cookie, pistachio linzer cookie, five legged goat cookie, gluten wheat friendly gingerbread cookie, gingerbread latte cupcake. Yes. A Christmas tree butter cookie, frozen hot chocolate, also available with peppermint snacks. Yeah, see? So that sounds interesting. But the next one is a must try for me. And frozen apple cider, also available with fireball cinnamon whiskey yeah, floater. Yeah, so a fireball shot on frozen apple cider. I think I'm going to try that. I, think I, I hope it's have, warm when we're there this year. I'll just have the regular frozen apple cider and then you can shove your fun little whiskey in there after and then finally there is one display worth noting inside a park it's in the american adventure at epcot yes this one only runs from november 24th so around thanksgiving to december 30th and this display recreates classic american monuments with gingerbread versions of the lincoln memorial martin luther king jr memorial the american adventure building with the regal eagle smokehouse and even a festival marketplace where there are six hidden mickeys along the scenery so six hidden mickeys there so check that out all right there you go there's all the gingerbread all the stuff happening at mickey's very merry christmas party food and drink and sweets and non-sweets and also at disneyland resort it is just as good oh yeah as well they've upped their game so check out our show notes and our blog post for that and all our top picks are noted And if you're going... Quite a lot going on over there. Maybe we'll see you there. (laughs) Maybe we'll see you there. I think I just get too jealous talking about all that Disneyland has going on. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening as always. Follow along on social media at 1923 Main Street. We'll see you again next week and have a magical day. Bye-bye.